Stephen Mead here, and I wanted to talk about something that I think is really important, and that is the four mistakes that we see home buyers make. And a lot of times, first time home buyers, they're super excited, and we found that they tend to make the same mistakes time and time again. The first mistake is they wait too long. And a lot of people think that they need to save up their money. There's always another savings goal around the corner, but there's a problem with that logic. If you were looking at a home that cost $400,000 and it was going up 3% a year, that means that home is actually getting $1,000 more expensive each month. So if you're not saving up at least $1,000, you're actually going backwards towards your goal. Another mistake that we find first time home buyers make is they judge the house by the pictures alone. And it's pretty easy for a flipper to make pretty pictures. What you really are concerned about is the bones of the house. These are the things that can be the most expensive to fix. Think about the things that you can't change. Is the house near railroad tracks? Or is the house in the perfect neighborhood location but just needs a little bit of help style-wise? We try to take a look at the whole picture for you and give you a great idea so you really know what you're buying and can make plans for the future. The third mistake that we find that first-time home buyers make is that they don't think about the total cost. And I'm not talking about the electric bill or talking about uh, having landscapers. What I'm talking about is the real cost based on where you're living. So that could mean commute times. Do you need a train ticket? Is it in a hotter climate that takes a lot more energy to cool? All these things factor into the true cost of ownership. And a lot of times we find clients are surprised when they put these extra factors in and they actually change their mind about where they're living and what type of property they wanna buy and that will work best for them. And finally, we have the fourth mistake that we see first time homebuyers make all the time. And that's failing to review the documents that they're given. When you get your offer accepted, it's a really exciting time and there's a lot going on. One of the most important things though is seller disclosures, a preliminary title report, and also the HOA disclosures. They sound boring, but they can really be super important. Things like rules, how many pets are you allowed to have? Are you allowed to change the color of your house? These things can all make a big difference in your ownership experience and it's important to read through these documents and a qualified real estate professional can help you do that so you know what's important and what's just extra noise and what parts are the things that you can be excited about when buying your first home.